Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my NFL predictions for the 2021 NFL season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. Uh, we're really trying to grow the channel. 500 subscriber goal by the end of the year. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. You will not regret it. So, uh, this year in the NFL, um, I mean, it's going to be an interesting season like, it's, like it is really every year. Um... A lot of uh, it, it's a, a lot of new things this year, including the 17 game schedule, uh, which is new this year. Last year we were introduced to the 17 playoff uh, on each side, and uh, it's going to be happening again this year. So a lot of new things this year for the NFL, um, and can't wait to uh, go ahead and see it. Also, jersey numbers are changing. So, um, some, you can basically have a single, a, uh, usually like a running back, so like usually 20 something or 40 something or 30 something. Now a running back could be number one on his jersey. So, a lot of, uh, different things here changing in the NFL. Can't wait for this NFL season. I think it's going to be a good one. And, uh, basically, I can't wait to watch, uh, the first game a week from, uh, Thursday. So, let's get into it. Uh, I'm just going to go division by division, speak a little bit about each team, why I have in place where they're at, and then go through the playoffs and then the Super Bowl uh, championship. So the AFC North. First place in the AFC North. Baltimore Ravens, 13-4. Um, I know they lost J.K. Dobbins. I think that's a big-time loss. But I just buy, I buy into Lamar Jackson. I, I just do. Uh, John Harbaugh is a good coach, even though I have been a little bit critical of him on his channel. Uh, I mean, the Ravens, in my opinion, you look at their schedule, I, I think they cruise to at least 12 wins. I have them going 13-4, and four, coming in first place in the AFC North. Second place, Pittsburgh Steelers. I think the Steelers at least finish above 500. I know some people are critical of, of uh, Big Ben. Thinking that he's basically, a, it looks like a third string quarterback. I, I think Big Ben has a little bit left in the tank. I know this is going to probably be his last season. Uh, Mike Tomlin, to me, is a, is a top three head coach in the league. I think he's uh, probably number two, honestly, behind Bill Barachuk. And I do believe he um, will find a way to at least get to this team above 500. I have him in second place at 9 and 8. Third place is the Browns at 9-8. and eight. I'm just not buying into the Browns. I know they made the playoffs last year. I do believe in Kevin Stefanski. But I look at this team, I'm not sold on Baker Mayfield. I think Odell Beckham Jr. just needs to get traded and uh, go ahead and get a change of scenery. Um, defensively, this team's going to be pretty good. Offensively, I think they'll be fine. But overall, just not really buying into the Browns. Third place, nine and eight, and then fourth place is the Bengals at five and twelve. Uh, this is a big year for Zach Taylor, the head coach there. He's on the hot seat. Uh, hopefully, Joe Barrow comes back. Um, I think he's going to play well. We we'll see what he can do with Jamar Chase. I don't think this team has much talent though on this team, I, and in a pretty tough division. I mean, one, two, and three all has very legitimate shots of at least making the play the playoffs, even making deep runs in the playoffs. Um, I think they're going to fall subject to that. I still think they'll find a, they'll pull off an upset against a team or two, but I have them finishing the year in fourth place, going five and twelve. AFC South in first place in the AFC South, the Tennessee Titans. Now I am a Tennessee Titans fan. You call me biased all you want because you're going to see the second place team have the same record. Titans are going to win the division, though. I'm pretty confident in saying they're going to win the division. But you look at the schedule. Schedule's a little bit trickier than you think. Um, also, I am very concerned about this defense as a Tony's fan, especially the secondary. Um, I'm not concerned about the linebackers. I think the front four is going to be better than where it was last year. It has to, it has to be better. They can't get any worse. But um, I am concerned about the secondary. Um, we let, uh, I mean, we basically let all the free agents walk. Um, I mean, I forget the guy's name. I'm drawing a blank, but he went to the Giants, um, the cornerback we had. But um, I was okay letting him walk. And um, basically, I I just think that um, Adoree Jackson, that's his name, Adoree Jackson. Uh, I was okay letting Adoree Jackson walk. Overall, though, I do think uh, at the cornerbacks, we brought in Janaris Jenkins. Uh, 
I don't know what to think of that. But offensively, this team's going to be really good, and I think the offense is just going to carry them over the top. I have the Titans finishing in first place, 10-7. Second place is the Colts at 10-7 as well. Um, look at the Colts. I do think overall the Colts are a little bit of a better squad than the Titans per se. Um, just all around, especially defensively. But I am not sold on Carson Wentz at all, and I think he will find a way to lose the division. I think the Tunnies finish in first place. The Colts finish, finish in second place. Even if it's worth the same record, I just buy more into the Tunnies than the Colts, and that's not being biased. Uh, that's just be that's just me uh, actually looking at it and and in my honest opinion is I think you have to buy into the Tunnies more than the Colts. But uh, I like the Colts. Um, for the minds, as I said, I think that overall this team's good defensively, offensively. Uh, they have some young talent, Michael Pittman Jr., Jonathan Taylor. I think those guys are really good, both of them. Um, I mean, but the qu question is going to be quarterback. Last year, I thought Phil Rivers did everything he could with the Colts. Uh, I, I thought he played as well as, as a game as he could against the Bills in his, uh, basically his final game of his career and just came up a bit short. That's kind of what I think of the Colts. I think they're just going to come up a, a bit short. Um, I'll admit, I do have them in the postseason. But um, overall, I do think that the Titans, it's, in my opinion, I just think they're the better team. So I have them finishing first, Colts second. Third place, Jaguars. Um, You look at the Jaguars, outside of Trevor Lawrence, they're not that talented. Uh, they lost Travis Etienne for, two, for the year to, our, to a torn ACL. Uh, defensively, I do think this team's going to be a little bit better. Uh, I do question this team offensively some outside of Trevor Lawrence, but when you have a good quarterback like Trevor Lawrence, when you have a coach like Urban Meyer, who, who in my opinion, I'm just going to be honest, say what you want about him, he's a hell of a coach. I think he will succeed at least somewhat on the NFL level, even though I think he's not going to be in Jacksonville for more than five years. Uh, primarily because I do believe he, either a um, college job he wants opens up, like a new dame, his dream job, or if uh, USC opens up, um, or uh, basically he just doesn't like the NFL, which I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to like the NFL personally. I just don't. Um, he already said he didn't like free agency, so that kind of tells you what he thinks of free agency. But um, anyways, I think they're going to pull off a few upsets this year. I think this team may start off a bit slow, but I think uh, maybe towards the end of the season, they get high at the end of the season and maybe pull off an upset or two. But I like the Jaguars in third place, 7-10. and 10. I think they're going to turn a few heads this year. I don't think this team's a bad team like maybe some previous years, but um, I don't think they'll play off team. They definitely need to, uh, probably another draft class or two to at least uh, compete for the playoffs. And then last place, the Houston Texans. I said 2-15. and 15. I mean, uh, to me, they're the worst team in the NFL. Uh, I don't think Deshaun Watson plays that much this season. I think it, he re – I honestly still think he might get traded at some point before the season starts. Or um, he, just, he just holds out for most of the season. I, I mean, I just look at the Texans. I mean, good Lord. I mean, that, that, the team's not good at all. Um, I, Brandon Cooks is the number one wide receiver. He's a clear number two, in my opinion. Mark Ingram's your starting running back. Uh, that guy is basically ready to retire. Defensively, this team's going to be just horrible. Um, it's probably going to be one of, if not the worst defensive team in the league. Uh, I think you guys have a head coach in uh, David Cawley who's not that good at all. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. The Ravens were celebrating. When he was gone, he came from the Ravens as their passing game coordinator. They were so brain when he was gone. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I think it's going to be a rough year for the Texans. 2 and 15. I think you find a way to get to 2 and 15. It might even be worse at 1 and 16. But I think you guys don't go 0 and 17. I think Deshaun Watson, if he plays enough, he'll find a way to win a game or two. But this team is pretty bad. 2 and 15 for the Texans. AFC East in first place, New England Patriots. I like the Patriots this year. I think they bounced back. I think Belichick uh, last year, remember, a lot of those players last year sat out because of COVID, like right? Stephon Gilmore um, and a few other defensive players. They all come back. Um, 
I don't know the quarterback situation. Bill Belichick, he came out and said he doesn't really know the quarterback situation. My gut tells me to go with Cam at the beginning of the season and at some point they replace him with Mac Jones. Um, my opinion about Mac Jones is I'm not that sold on him because I think the talent around him at Alabama made him look good, more good than what he is. But I do think he is an NFL quarterback. But I think the Patriots bounce back. I really do. And I think they win this, this division, 11-6, first place. Second place, the Bills are also at 11-6. Um... The Bills are one of the top teams in the AFC, but I don't think they win this division. I think the Patriots do. Uh, you look at the Bills. I mean, Josh Allen, He's that's clearly uh, a really good draft pick, even though, to be honest, I wasn't that sold on him in the draft a few years ago. Uh, you, you look at this team, Stephon Diggs. I mean, just amazing. Defensively, this team's very really good. Sean McDermott, very good head coach. I think the Bills are a really good team. Would not surprise me if they win this division at all. I just think the Patriots do. But I have the Bills second place, 11-6. Third place, Dolphins. I think the Dolphins finally hit stride this year. Um, and they go 10-7. You, you look at this team, I think Tua Tagalova, I think he steps up this year. Overall, I think the defense is getting better. You hope that the offense is getting better. Uh, I, I like this Dolphins team this year. I think the Dolphins, I think they uh, probably find a way to honestly get in the playoffs. I, re I really do. I think the Dolphins are a good enough team to make the playoffs, and I think they do at 10-7. Uh, I, 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 I buy into the head coach here. I'm drawing a blank on his Brian Flores. Um, that's his name. I, I like the head coach there. I, I really think the Dolphins are going to have a good year this year. I, they're in a tough division, 1-2-3. But um, I think they find a way to get into the playoffs. And then fourth place, the New York Jets, uh, three and fourteen. The, I mean, we all know they're in a the rebuild. They brought in a new quarterback in Zach Wilson. We we'll see what he does. I'm not that sold on that whole situation. To be honest with you, because I think I think Zach Wilson looked good because of, the, of most of the competition he played. The one team that was good that he faced, he did lose to in college football. Um, but you look at, um, you look at the Jets, yeah, they're in rebuild mode. I mean, Adam Gase, we put that franchise back five years. Uh, I do like the head coach hire. Uh, you got the San Francisco Giants defensive coordinator. I do think he will do good things eventually, but just give the Jets time. They're in a tough division. It's going to be a uphill battle. I think they go three and 14. It's I mean, I think they're better than the Texans in the AFC, but that's just about it. Um, so Jets, fourth place, three fourteen. AFC West, first place is the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, what what can I, what bad things can I say about the Chiefs? I mean, the offense, probably best offense in the league. I mean, my God. I mean, you look at their schedule. It was tough to find losses on their schedule. It really was. I'm gonna say they lose two games somewhere. Maybe that Week 18 game. Uh, I I forget. Who, I think they faced the. I want to say they faced the Chargers in Week 18. Maybe the maybe them because they're resting everybody, but um, and maybe they slip up somewhere else. But I mean, the as long as the defense is opposed, I think they're. In my opinion, I think they cruise to the AFC Championship game, at the minimum, as long as this defense has a pulse. And if this defense can make a play or two. I think they can, They could. They will probably win the whole thing. So. I like the Chiefs, first place in the AFC West, 15-2. Second place in the AFC West is the Chargers. Uh, Chargers are a lot more talented. The only thing that concerns me about the Chargers is that as a first-year head coach, uh, it's the Rams' defensive coordinator. I do think he will uh, have this team going in the right direction, but I think it might take a year uh, as a kind of a young team out there in uh, Los Angeles, almost to San Diego. Uh, but... Overall, um, I think the Chargers. I think uh, I think they'll have a good season. I think they would prove to be probably a year out this season. I think twenty twenty two is going to be the year for them. I like the Chargers in second place and nine and eight. Third place is the Raiders at eight and nine. Some people are saying this is John Gruden's make or break year. I actually think that's next year before I think you guys start having that conversation. I still think he has this year. I, I think this team's going to be competitive. I don't think they're as far away as some people might think, per se. 
But I do think that um, this team needs to make a move or two. They're a competitive team. Um, the thing that's going to hold them back is Derek Carr. I, I hate to say it, but I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think Derek Carr is one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the league. Um, I think he I think he holds this Raiders team back a lot, honestly. It would not surprise – and I'll throw this out here as well. Um, I don't think Aaron Rodgers gets traded this season, but I do think he gets, he gets traded next offseason. I will put my money on the Las Vegas Raiders to make that trade for Aaron Rodgers. I, I just think that's where he's going. Um, call me crazy, but I, I can see that happening. I can see John Green prop making a move swing for the fences like that. But I, 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 we'll see. But the Raiders overall defensively, this team's not good defensively at all. Um, that's going to cost them as well some. But 8 and 9, I think this team, um, I think they're competitive but at the end. They missed out in the playoffs. And then the last place, the Denver Broncos. Uh, they just announced a few days ago they're going to Teddy Bridgewater. Didn't really make much of a difference who they were going with as starting quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater or Drew Locke. But in my opinion, I think you got to see what you have in Drew Locke. Um, I know you went – I understand why you go with Teddy Bridgewater, but you got to see what you have in Drew Locke, I think, this year. Uh, Drew Locke is a draft pick you selected in the second round. You, you got to see what you have in him. Give him a full season um, there out there in Denver. This is a veteran team, in my opinion. The secondary, though, definitely taking steps back over the past year or two. Uh, the head coach, Vic, Vic Fangino, uh, he's on the hot seat. I do think he keeps his job as long as it, this team's competitive and at least wins seven, eight games, which I think they will. Um, they'll pull off an upset or two against somebody. But I like the Broncos in last place in this division at 8 and 9. I just think they come up a bit short of making the playoffs. And uh, they're, uh, they're in the toughest division in the AFC, in my opinion. I mean, you have 15 and 2, then you have 9 and 8, 8 and 9, 8 and 9. So uh, that tells you where I think of this division. I think the AFC North is going to be tough. I think the AFC East is going to be tough. Even the AFC South, to a lesser degree, first and second is going to be about a pretty good battle between the Tennessee Titans. And then the Apparis Colts there. But overall, uh, this is how I see the AFC standings. I'm going to do the NFC standings real quick here. And then we'll look at the playoffs. NFC North, first place, Green Bay Packers. Um, I think the Packers can honestly win this division going 9-8, and eight, honestly. Uh, that's how weak I think this division is. Um, I have them going 10-7. They're playing a uh, first place schedule. Um, the schedule's kind of tough. I do think this is Aaron Rodgers last year. In Green Bay, um, I just do. Um, I think Matt Lafleur. Uh, Matt Lafleur. I think he uh, wants Jordan Love in there, which I really don't understand why. I, to me, if Jordan Love does not work out, Matt Lafleur should lose his job immediately. Uh, but overall, they're the best team in the NFC North by default. I have to go with them in first place at ten and seven. Second place, Minnesota Vikings. And I spell Vikings wrong, so sorry about that. I had I had that extra uh, extra N in there, but um, I think the Vikings either go eight and nine or nine and eight. I like Mike Zimmer. I think he's a good coach. I'm gonna give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt here, and they go nine and eight. Um, I, overall, I do think that this team. Uh, I think they're all right. I think the window's closed, honestly. I think uh, the last real shot was when they went to the AFC, not the AFC, the NFC Divisional Round against the Niners and went out there and lost by two, three touchdowns. But um, this to bring back Dalvin Cook, he was out last year with a torn ACL, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they bring him, so he comes back. And uh, basically, I do think this team... I just think this team's 9-8. and eight. I, I mean, I think they're 8-9, and 9-8. Nine, nine and eight. I'm going to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, go 9-8. and eight. But uh, overall, the Vikings, in my opinion, the window is closed. They'll, they'll still make the playoffs a few times with this team because of how, because the NFC, after like team number five, is very weak. But um, I like the Vikings in second place at 9-8. and eight. I'm sorry. Sorry about that misspell. That's embarrassing on my end. Third place. It's the Bears at six and eleven. I am. I think this situation is gonna blow up. Um, I do not understand why the Bears aren't starting uh, Justin Fields. I don't understand why the hell Matt Nagy is starting 
is not starting Justin Fields week one. Uh, and going for Andy Dawn, I, I understand he has a so car plan. Uh, to me, that's a bunch of bull, you know what. Um, he should be starting Justin Fields week one. He's the better quarterback. He gives his team a better shot to win. Uh, you look at this team overall defensively, I think they're actually decent. Offensively, though, I think they're going to be challenged offensively yet again because until they get Justin Fields in there. And I, I think they'll make the, the change once uh, the Bears probably start out the season 2-6 and six and and uh, Matt Nagy's like an oh shit mode because overall um, his job's on the line. He's definitely on the hot seat there. He kind of got bailed out last season, honestly, honestly because of uh, them making the postseason despite them going – Eight and eight. Um, but overall, this is a third place team in the NFC North, in my opinion. I like the Bears in third place at six and eleven, and then fourth place is the Detroit Lions. That's the Lions fans. Um, I think you have brighter days ahead. I really do. I like what the Lions are doing. I, I like the, what they're doing with this rebuild. I really do. It's going to be two or three years of lows, though. I mean. I do think this team's going to be better than what the record looks, though. I, I will come out and say that. I would not surprise me if the Lions actually go maybe 7-10, and 10, honestly. But the way the schedule stacks up and the way everything looks, I got to go 4-13. and 13. I think Jared Goff is probably, I, in my opinion, I think Jared Goff benefits so much off a of system with, uh, with out there in L.A. with the Rams that um, basically... Uh, I think he's. I think he's probably going to be in with Detroit for like two years. I don't think he's your quarterback of the future. I really don't. And um, overall, I think uh, he's going to struggle a lot this year. But I, I like I like the head coach hire. Even though some people, I know some people on the internet criticize it, but I do I do like the head coaching hire and Dan Campbell. I do think this is someone that truly wants the Lions to play well. He he was a former player for them. But um, overall, I just think it's going to be a struggle for the Lions. 4-13, fourth place. Okay, NFC South. First place, Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the defending Super Bowl champs. 14-3. Um, they bring back everybody, this team. I mean, it's pretty rare when you see a team, especially a team that won the Super Bowl, bring back all 22 starters, which the Bucs are doing. I mean, they will lose a game or two. They will. Uh, I, I think they lose three, honestly, but it would not surprise me this team goes 16-1. I don't think they go undefeated. I don't think any team goes undefeated in the NFL. I mean, 17-0 is going to be tough as hell, uh, but I can see this team going 15-2, 16-1. I think the Bucks are a really good team, and I have them winning the NFC South. Second place is the Saints going 12-5. and I'm high on the Saints this year. I don't think they miss a beat because I th- I'm going to be honest with you. Late in that season, going into the playoffs, Drew Brees looked like a third-string quarterback. Let's be real, um, or at least a backup. That guy, He did not look like a starter out there. And I know he's a first battle Hall of Famer and everything, but let's be real. Uh, they had a better chance of just lining up uh, Jameis Winston or um, who, who's the quarterback they went out there. Um, who, who was at BYU? Number seven, I forget his name. Drawing a blank on that. But they're going to be starting Jameis Winston. I think this team bounces. I think they, they don't miss a beat. I really don't. Um, overall, Sean Payne, excellent head coach. I do question this team a little bit defensively. But overall, I do think the Saints, they're a pretty good team. I think they're going to be uh, ma- making playoffs in second place there at 12-5. and five. Third place, Carolina Panthers at 6-11. I mean, they're still kind of a young team. I mean, they're, they're figuring out defensively a little bit still. I do think this team is probably going to be better, once again, than what the record looks last year. I mean, it seems like every game outside of, like, two of them last year that I could think of, they were in. So, I definitely think this Panthers team is pretty close. I just think they're still a year or two out. Right? I, I think uh, they, they, they went ahead and trade for Sam Darnold. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens there. But um, overall, I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Not where we saw Matt Wool um, as an NFL coach, maybe uh, definitely as a college coach, but maybe not so much as, as an NFL coach. But I do think that the Panthers 
Uh, I think they look better than what this record says, but at the end, I just think six and eleven is where they're at. And then, five, and then in fifth place—I mean, excuse me—in fourth place in the NFC South is the Falcons at five and twelve. I'm pulling for you all's head coach and Arthur Smith. He came from Tennessee uh, as our offensive coordinator. I'm pulling for him, but it's going to be a rough year this year. I mean, this team defensively is really bad. Uh, offensively, I do think they have a chance maybe in the second half of the season to do very good. But um, overall, I, it's going to be a rough year for the Falcons. I do think, though, this team will prove, though, I, 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 I like the GM. I like the head coach. Uh, Arthur Blank is a good owner. He, he's not someone that um, is going to be pulling the needle basically, or pulling the trigger and firing everybody, cleaning house after one bad year, so it's understood as a kind of a retooling, rebuilding uh, phase, I guess, but I like the Falcons to finish fourth place at 5-12. and 12. NFC East. In first place in the NFC East, I have the Dallas Cowboys going 8-9. and nine. This division is very bad, guys. Um... I look at everybody, I just think the Cowboys are too explosive on offense to not to win this division. That's what it comes down to. Defensively, they bring in Dan Quinn. That's an upgrade for defensive coordinator. I actually do think Dan Quinn is a good defensive coordinator. Maybe not so much as a good head coach. Even though he didn't make a Super Bowl with Atlanta. So it's not like he didn't fail as a head coach. I wouldn't say he failed as a head coach. But um, the Cowboys, I just think they win this division by the far. Where we do, um, I'm not so very really on any team in this, uh, in this, uh, division, really, to win a Super Bowl, uh, maybe to win a playoff game, for some of them, but overall, the Cowboys, I think they win this division at 8 and 9. Second place is the Giants at 7 and 10. Uh, this is a big year for Daniel Jones, and he needs to prove himself some this year. I like your guys as head coach and Joe Judge. I really think he this guy is going to be a really good head coach down the line. I think the Giants are heading in the right direction. They just need a, a bounce or two to go their way. That's really what they need. They're kind of right there, in my opinion. Maybe they're a year out at most, but I like the Giants this year. Um, I just think they don't win this division. I think the Cowboys are just too explosive offensively. I think the Giants have finished in second place at 7-10. and 10. Third place, Redskins. Washington Redskins at six and eleven. Last year they won this division by default. Uh, this year, I mean, they bring in Ryan Fitzpatrick. It would not surprise me if they win this division. To be honest, these three teams you're seeing in front of you, it would not surprise me if any of them win the division. Uh, even the fourth team, the Eagles, it wouldn't surprise me. But I do think these three teams are have the Eagles at least. Um, very good defense there at the Redskins offensively. We'll see. I mean, they were challenged last year offensively, honestly, as you can tell. Um, but we'll see what happens with them offensively. That's the big question for me about this team. They could have a pulse offensively. Uh, they could win this division. And then fourth place is the Eagles. Um, I guess they're going with Jamar Hurts. They just trade for Gardner Minshew. And, and would not surprise me if he gets some snaps under center uh, for, with the Eagles this uh Year, I'm not sold on your head coach one bit. I, I just think the Eagles, I think it's going to be a struggle bus year. Uh, I don't see this team really winning more than five, six games, honestly. I think they go 4-13. and 13. This team, in my opinion, is just not that good. And then the NFC West, first place, 49ers. I think they bounce back. I really do. I know I put Kyle Shanahan on the hot seat list for the NFL coaches. Go check that out on McD Sports 4. But, um... I, I, I think the point is, I think they bounce back. I think they do. I, I don't know what they're going to do with quarterback. My gut tells me it, that they probably go Jimmy Garoppolo, even though, I, to be honest, I think they should just go Trey Lance if it's close. Um, there's more upside there, but I like the point is to finish in first place at 12 and 5. Second place, Cardinals. I'm high on this team. I think the Cardinals could have one of the best offenses in the NFL. Uh, defensively, this team's not going to be bad defensively. They're going to have an above-average defense, in my opinion. The schedule's tough. The division's tough. This is the best division in football, in my opinion. So, overall, I think this is going to be uh, tough for every team in the division. But I like the Cardinals to finish, to finish second at 10-7. Third place is the Rams. 
St- uh, they bring in Stafford. To me, he is the guy that is under the most pressure in the NFL. Uh, he has to win a playoff game, in my opinion, at the minimum with the Rams. Um, and we'll see if we have them winning that playoff game because I do think the Rams make the playoffs. But I have them finishing third place at 10-7. and seven. Um, I mean, defensively, this team, it's up and down with them, to be honest. Some games are good defensively. Some games are not. And then offensively, uh, you know what, what Sean McVay could do as an offensive play caller. And then fourth place is the Seattle Seahawks. I have them going 9-8, and eight, uh, but they're missing out on the playoffs. The Seahawks, in my opinion, I came out, I think I said, said this earlier, I do think this is Pete Carroll's final year up there in Seattle, and I'm sticking to that. Um, I look at Seattle. I mean, outside of Russell Wilson offensively, I really, I mean, I know they have Lockett as a wide receiver. He's very good. But outside of those two players, I'm not sold on Chris Carson. I'm just not. And overall, I'm, I just don't think, I don't think there's a lot of talent up there in Seattle. I think without uh, Russell Wilson at quarterback, if you just had an average quarterback there, I think this is honestly just a 6-7 win team. I think Russell Wilson makes this team that good. But unfortunately, if you're a Seahawks fan, I just think you miss out on the playoffs. You're on a very tough division. Um, it happens, but I like I like the Seahawks to finish in last place in the NFC West at nine and eight. So then the playoffs, those are all the, uh, the, the that's all the teams' uh, record stands. That's where I have every team going. And the wild card for the AFC. I have the number four seed Italians over the number five seed Bills. I think the Italians win that game in the wild card. I think the Patriots go ahead and beat the Dolphins in the wild card as well. Um, I think they can find a way to win that game at home. And I like the Ravens to go ahead and beat the Colts in the wild card. Uh, my opinion about all three of these games, I think the Titans Bills game is probably the best game out of the three. I think that game will be a back and forth game, but the Titans will win fi- find a way to win that game, especially at home. I think the Patriots, uh, their playoff experience comes into play, and I think that shows. And they go ahead and beat the Dolphins by 7 to 10 points, and probably something like a 27 20 game. And then the Ravens Colts is going to be kind of low scoring, but Lamar Jackson makes a play or two. That's the difference, and they win that game for something like 23 13. NFC wildcard games. I like the Cowboys. And the upset, I do think the Cowboys are going to be underdogs in this one to pull off the upset against the Saints in the wild card. I like the Packers over the Cardinals. I like the 49ers over the Rams. Uh, I just think the Cowboys, I think they're, I'm not sold on the Saints defense. I think the Cowboys offense is too explosive. I think they find a way to win that game at home in the NFC wild card game. It'll be a shootout game, but at the end, I like. I think James Winston throws an interception or two. I think the Cowboys' defense is just good enough to maybe make a play or two, and that's the difference. I can see this game being something like 42-35, something like that. packers Cardinals. I think this is going to be a back-and-forth game, but the Packers pull away late because Aaron Rodgers has playoff experience, and he's the best uh, player out, out of both of these teams. Even though there is an argument for DeAndre Hopkins and Aaron Rodgers, there is. But I like the Packers to go ahead and win this game by something like 34-23. And then the 49ers-Rams, I think this game uh, I think this game is a close game in the first half. But I think the Niners pull away some in the second half. I like the Niners to win this game 31-21. So that's who I have in the wild cards. I have the Titans, Patriots, and Ravens moving on. Bills, Dolphins, Colts going home. And then I have the Cowboys, Packers, Niners moving on. With the Saints, Cardinals, and Rams going home. All the home teams win in the wild card. In the, in the uh, divisional round, I like the Ravens over the Patriots there in the, in the AFC divisional round. And unfortunately, as a Titans fan, we run into the Chiefs. And I like the Chiefs over the Titans. I do think that the Ravens and the Patriots game will be a low-scoring close game. But once again, um, I do think Lamar Jackson finds a way to win this game, making a play or two, probably with his legs, honestly, because that's how good of an athlete he is. I, In my opinion, Lamar Jackson in a close game, he's good enough to just take over the game and make a play or two to win the game. Uh, I've seen it happen many times before. It happened last year in the AFC wildcard game against my Titans. Uh, they literally won that game off of two plays that Lamar Jackson made with his legs. So 
I like the Raven. I like the Ravens in a, in a very low scoring tight game, something like seventeen to fourteen, honestly. But I think Lamar Jackson makes a play or two with his legs that are the difference. And then the Chiefs Titans game. I think this is a competitive game for three quarters. I think the Chiefs pull away though. I like the Chiefs to win this game, something like forty two twenty seven. Then in the NFC Wild Card game, I mean the NFC Divisional Round games. I like the Packers to go into San Francisco and get the win there. I like the Bucks over the Cowboys. Um, I think the Packers Niners game is a, it's close between both teams, but I'm going to go with the Packers here because I think the Niners. I think that this I do think Trey Lance will be starting in the playoffs, and I do think that um, I do think with the quarterback like Rodgers, there'll be a difference there, and there'll be a back and forth game. But I like the Packers to win this one, 30 to 24, and the Bucks Cowboys game. I do think this game might be get a bit ugly, honestly. I like the Bucks in Tampa Bay, just like in the Week One game, like which I think might get a little bit ugly. I like the Bucks to win this game, 41-23 over the Cowboys. Then in the AFC NFC Championship games, I like the I like the Chiefs over the Ravens. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was a big game week two, Ravens, Chiefs, and Baltimore. That's gonna tell you all you need to know about the Ravens. Um, they're gonna get a rematch here in the playoffs, here in the AFC Championship game. No matter what happens in that week two game, I do think the Ravens come up short. I think this is a back and forth game. But at the end, I just I, I do think Lamar Jackson is good enough to, if he could, if he gets the opportunity, especially against a defense like the Chiefs. Now I'm not sold on, but I do think they have a pulse, and I do think that they can make a play or two. I do think Lamar Jackson can make a play or two against the Chiefs defense. I do think he is that dynamic. Dyna- man, I do think he is that dynamic. If he can make a play or two against the Chiefs defense, and and if the Ravens defense can just hold off enough. Hold up enough, and I do think that this um, Ravens defense is pretty good. Even though it doesn't matter how good your defense is against the Chiefs, I mean they're gonna hang at least thirty on you at minimum, in my opinion. If this Ravens defense can just hold up and hold up the Chiefs enough, maybe get a turnover or two, and if Lamar Jackson Lamar Jackson can make a play or two, I do think the Ravens have a shot at the upset. But even then, I do think the Chiefs will still find a way to win the game. I have the Chiefs winning this game 38-28 to over the Ravens. And then the NFC Championship game, I like the Packers over the Bucks in the upset. I think the Packers, they were in the NFC Championship game the past two years. As I said, I do think this is Aaron Rodgers last year in Green Bay. I think third time is the charm. I think the Packers beat the Bucks in this one. I'm going to go... 28-24 Packers over the Bucks in the NFC Championship game. The Super Bowl. So you already know who I have in the Super Bowl. My Super Bowl pick is Chiefs Packers. Chiefs coming out of the AFC, Packers coming out of the NFC. Um, I think it's going to be a good Super Bowl. At the end, though, I think it's a back and forth game. Maybe turns into a little bit of a shootout. I didn't put a score prediction now, but I'll tell you my score prediction once I show you my Super Bowl champs. My Super Bowl champs for this 2021 NFL season is the Green Bay Packers. I think Aaron Rodgers, last year in Green Bay, he wants to leave on a high note. I think they find a way to win this game. I do like the Packers more defensively than the Chiefs. I also think that's a big difference. A lot of people, I'll tell you this. A lot of people last year would tell you that the Bucks won the the, the, the uh, Super Bowl because of their offense. I think they won the Super Bowl last year because of defense, honestly. And I think the Packers' defense makes a play or two against Mahomes. Because Mahomes, yeah, he's a really good quarterback. He throws probably two balls a game that are a suspect or questionable. Usually one gets picked off. I think maybe that happens at a bad spot. I like the Packers to win this game. I'm going 38-34. Packers. I think this is an all-time shootout, and I just like the Packers to uh, come away with the win. So I had the Green Bay Packers as your Super Bowl champs, and Super Bowl was 55 Super Bowl 55 champs. So that's who I have winning the Super Bowl. Comment down below. Tell me who you have winning the Super Bowl. Tell me your NFL predictions. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate you do that. Remember the uh, subscriber goal. 
Thanks for watching. McD the Beast signing off.